someone spoken. Um, I was at a conference recently, a matter of fact, last week, and one of the prevailing themes was change. And so I'm in the conference and the prophetic is in the air. The air is charged with the presence of God. And, and the Lord uh, showed me a table. And the table was empty. And they were talking about being seated at the table. And so I decided, okay, God, am I, am I at the table? Am I seated? Uh, do I come to the table? So we were, I want to look at this today, and I, because I know someone else is struggling with this, uh, in the presence of God, we're struggling with when is God going to answer our prayer? I've been going through this a long time, and so let's look at what God has to say. Um, I want to start with uh, Psalms 23, verse one. The word of the Lord says this: "The Lord is my shepherd." And this is the amplified version. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield me. I shall not lack. He makes me lie down in fresh, tender, green pastures. He leads me beside the still and restful waters. He refreshes and restores my life, myself. He leads me in the path of righteousness when you walk in obedience, righteousness, uprightness and right standing with him and for my earning it but for his name's sake yea though i walk through the deep lord have mercy sunless dark sunless valley of the shadow of death i will fear or dread no evil for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort me and this is the key scripture you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My brimming cup runs over. He, the scripture says, you, meaning he, prepares a table before me. The question is, are we seated at the table? Or is my place vacant? Is my place at the table of the Lord empty? Um, so... This uh, one of the speakers at the conference was talking about how in her intimate time with the Lord, she be, she was seated at the table and God gave her a big pair of binoculars because she is a seer. And so the, the binoculars are going to make things bigger. She'll be able to see better. So what are we missing, oh God, if we're not seated at the table and waiting for God? The scripture says he has prepared a table, but he brings gifts to that table. Hallelujah. So, so uh, we are seated at that table. Are you seated? And one of the ways that you, that you can be seated is found in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. If you are willing and obedient... You shall eat the good of the land, willing and obedient. That word good means in the wildest sense, especially good, the best, beauty, gladness, welfare, goodness, joy, to go well with. Oh, Jesus. So that, that's, that's what good means. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat of the good of the land. Hallelujah. So, so when you walk in the spirit of obedience, you bring what is the unseen realm into the seen realm. Hallelujah. So when you are obedient and you begin to sit at the table, those things that you wanted, those things that God said he was going to give, you begin to bring them from the unseen realm into the seen realm where you can be able to enjoy them. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. So, so that which comes from the unseen realm to the seen realm comes with God's purpose already attached to it. Hallelujah. His purpose is already attached to what he gives you. So all you have to do is walk it out. Glory to God. Listen. His purpose for your life becomes clearer through each act of obedience. Every time that you are obedient to God, your purpose becomes crystal clear. Listen, one of the rabbis that I studied under, he said this. Whatever you say out of your mouth, 
comes toward you. Whatever you hear, you will repeat. And whatever you write down will come to pass. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that again. Whatever you say out of your mouth comes toward you. So what are you speaking? Are you speaking blessing? Are you speaking multiplication? Because it will come toward you. Hallelujah. Whatever you hear, you will repeat. And whatever you write down will come to pass. So taking a seat at the table of his presence is where you begin to reap the benefits of obedience. Hallelujah. Because, listen, it is at that table that he gives us everything that we need. Oh, God. Listen. Listen. Uh, listen to this. Second Samuel verse 9 and 1. And David said, is there still anyone left? of the house of Saul to whom I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake. So what's happening is, is that all of, John, of, of Saul's family is gone. At least David thinks it is. And so he's looking for somebody from Saul's family that he can bless. Okay. So um, verse 5 says, Then King David sent and brought him from the house of Mekur, son of Emil, Ameliel and Lodabar. So he found his son Mephibosheth and he was in Lodabar. We, we won't even talk about Lodabar. Just know that it's not a good place. And so David says this, verse 7, David said to him, fear not, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan's your father's sake and will restore to you all the land of Saul, your fighting, your, your, your father, grandfather, and you shall eat Mm -mm. And you shall eat at my table always. So the, it, when you read the scripture, you'll find out that Mephibosheth thought he was going to die. He was crippled in the process. And so now he's seated mm, at the table of the king forever. Why? <clears throat> because God wanted to reward not him, huh, but his father for being for being a friend to David. So God takes these things and he's serious about these things. So it's the least little things that you do unto God that he will reward you. And the least of those things is obedience. So when we are obedient to him, he has a reward for us. So my question to you is, will you find your seat at the table of the Lord so that he can begin to bless you? Will you walk in obedience and that obedience will attract the blessing of God in your life? Hallelujah. The blessing of God is what we want to attract. Do you want to enlarge your territory? If you do, you must begin with obedience. Hallelujah. Listen, I hope this message has blessed you. Subscribe to us. Like us. Shabbat shalom.